Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at what an isosceles triangle is and what are some of the properties. This one's a really interesting triangle. Well, an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two congruent sides. So in this diagram we have these two sides marked congruent or you can have possibly the sides like a 5, 5, let's say and 4 and then you could say okay that's an isosceles triangle because two out of the three sides are congruent. Okay, the other way to look at it is in perspective of the angles. Okay, we see that this angle is 45, this angle is 45, and this angle is 90. Since we have two angles that are congruent, that means this is an isosceles triangle. That would actually mean if I go to the opposite side, this side and this side are the two congruent sides. Or in this case, they're actually congruent legs because they're in a right triangle. Okay, so let's look at the rules of isosceles triangles. Isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two sides that are congruent, which means equal length, or two angles that are congruent or have equal measure. So it can look like this. Now let's go back to this triangle one more time. I'm going to show you one more quick tip. If this side is 5, or actually let me give you a, a measure at the top. Let's say that we know the angle up here is 40 degrees. Can we figure out these other two angles? We can, because we know that a triangle adds to 180 degrees. If I've used up 40 degrees, what do I have left? I have 140 degrees left. But I also know that these two base angles are congruent to each other, so I can just take the 140 and divide it by 2, and that, that gives me the angle measure of 70. So each of these two, what we call base angles, measures 70 degrees. So there's a little helpful hint with isosceles triangles. Hope this was helpful.